Welcome back everyone. It's been a couple of weeks since we set up our latest tanks here at Tidal Gardens. In the last video, we talked a bit about the actual tanks and the plumbing setup. If you missed that, you can click on the annotation here and it will take you to that video. This video is all about the new aqua illumination Vega lighting that we installed on the top set of tanks. The AI Vega is a new 95 watt LED fixture that is more powerful than the previous Soul models and sports a slimmer profile. The Vegas come in two models, blue and color. Now these are the color version and have red and green LEDs in addition to the three types of blue and the five watt white. The blue version has royal blue LEDs that replace the red and green. Before the Vega units came out, we used Souls, which used these rail mounts. It's possible to mount the Vegas to the original rails, but because the Vega fixtures do not come with mounting screws, you have to get them from the hardware store. They use a 1032 machine screw, and in my case washers as well because the screw heads were a little bit small. There is a new EXT rail that Aqua Illumination sells for these fixtures specifically. They fit a special channel in the heatsink of the Vega. If I were setting up a personal show tank, I would probably go with the new EXT rails because they're a little bit more polished and feel more robust. On my old Soul fixtures, I replaced the 40 degree optics with 70 degree optics to get more spread and less spot lighting. These Vega fixtures use 80 degree optics, so I get a very nice spread right out of the box. They can easily light a 24 inch by 24 inch footprint. You can probably get a few hundred par with these fixtures on the bottom of most tanks. That's somewhere between a 250 watt and a 400 watt metal halide, and certainly powerful enough to keep just about any light loving species. My first impression of these lights is favorable. The thing I like about them is that they have a wireless controller. Although it may not show here at the greenhouse, I really hate clutter, and being able to cut out the need to daisy chain a data cable to each fixture is nice. I'm not 100% familiar yet with the controller, so I don't know how to do all the special effects. I have seen, however, the dawn dusk effect, where the units get darker from left to right to simulate a sunset. I've also noticed a moonlight that travels across the six fixtures at night. I'm guessing the intensity of the moon changes according to the phase of the moon on that date. The Vega has a storm and cloud cover options for those that are interested in those effects. Now I tend to leave those settings off. In my opinion, a lot of these variations are for the consumer's benefit rather than for the tank's benefit. And if you like that, that's cool, but having had a greenhouse based system now for about 10 years, I really appreciate stable, consistent light. I can tell you for a fact that seasons are not a feature. You do not want anything to do with seasonal variation if you like your corals. Right now, for example, we're going from winter to spring. That sudden difference in light intensity and photo period, uh, without fail, will cause an algae bloom here. We've gotten used to it, so for the first few weeks leading into the start of spring, we perform heavy water changes. But in years past, the amount of algae that can appear in 24 hours is staggering. But I digress. There's a special place in my heart for light fixtures that are fundamentally strong and allow me to turn off most of the consumer lighting effects. All right, that's it from here. I'll be interested to see how these corals color up as they settle into these new tanks with the Vega lights. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Happy reefing, guys!